What is up, guys? I just wanted to keep this um, quick and simple. Oh, this is really zoomed in. Hold on, hold on. There we go. But I just wanted to keep this quick and simple. Meditation, shit really works out. I know from the beginning, it's gonna feel like you're doing nothing, but you just gotta continue on with the path where you just gotta do it every day. See how things go, because it really does make a huge improvement of your life. And I feel like it's been doing it for me for quite a while now. I've been doing this for about a few days. I feel more relaxed, more chill. I, I just feel different. I feel like there's more energy. I'm able to really become more active. I just feel way different. I feel like I could really control my anger in ways anytime I really pop to get angry, I can really control it, push it down, start to maintain that what I was before, that neutral happiness type of vibe. But you know, I just feel like people out there should really start to do it. And I'm I'm really more of obsessed with doing Rubik's Cubes too. Before I didn't really have that much patience, but now I'm like, yeah, I can see myself doing this because I have more of, I have more energy and more patience for it. As soon as possible, I'm gonna really try to figure out this Ruby Cubes because I never got it done. It's a random video, but hey, I just got, I, I just gotta tell you what I've been through because I haven't been posting for a minute, and I feel like I need to start doing more posting. You know what I mean? Like, man, and I've been watching a lot of uh, videos of Soluminati and Ash and um. These other good YouTubers, like, they really know what they're talking about. Like, I know some people look at Sol Illuminati as a savage person, but nah, man, like, he knows what he's talking about, man. Like, never judge a book by its cover. Read the damn book and you'll learn more about the person. Yeah. Because I feel like in ways social media has brainwashed you to judge many people without really knowing who they really are. As a, as a person, you, you're just going off by the imagery of how they look, the way they look, what they wear. But hey, in a brain, they could be the smartest person on earth. We look back at all these famous people who came out with stuff, you know, came out with amazing stuff. They weren't this typical, they weren't like The Rock and shit like that, like Kevin Hart. Some people finding it in the South to actually go out there and achieve what they were always visioning in their own mind, bringing it out to reality. That's why I think of it. Like people like those are really good inspirational people to look up to. People these days in the generation of rap, I don't really see anything good about them because all they do is just spend money on chains when they first get their check or like get this new bins and shit like that. Like you don't really see that that thrive in the grind where they'll just go to like go to Walmart, buy some shirts and see like, hey, this is where I started. This is this is where I want to inspire myself to keep it neutral. So just spending money like crazy. You don't see shit like that. We need more people like those because you see people like J. Cole. He's been in the game for a while, but he still stays the way he is. Like he's neutral. He's chill. He doesn't go crazy with his money. He knows what he's doing. I call these people like those geniuses in their own craft because they know how to visualize it and bring it to reality. The shit like that. I know I, I know this video is random as hell, but I just had to say what I had to say. Um, go out there, watch Solomonai's videos, Ash videos, people people who are who have been meditating and how they could help y'all. Just watch their videos. All that, like, you, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Don't be lazy in your room 24 7 um, going on um, websites <laughs> or playing your know, video game and shit like that. Like, you can still play video game, but try to limit it to 30 minutes, but really focus on like meditation and getting work done so you could feel more of a human than what we are designed to be. But, um, anyways, more videos tomorrow, I think. Peace, appreciation, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm going to try to get this Ruby Cube done. You know what I mean? All right, peace out, bro. You ain't getting paid till a year later. You're not going to make money until a year and a half later with this YouTube shit. Have that mindset that you ain't getting no money no time soon. And whatever you posting, have fun with that shit, right? I guarantee you, if you having fun, like when I be having fun with 2K, dropping niggas off, posting heli gameplays, people feed off your energy. If you having fun with what you posting, you're gonna grow. Nothing I see means anything. So as you are practicing this lesson, you're supposed to use it. Like I said, don't judge it, don't believe it. Some of these beliefs may be very 
Uh, you might naturally want to combat at first, and it, it all, does also say that in the book. But the first one is nothing I see means anything. So as someone who gets sucked back into the 3D very quickly, this can really bring you back into focus and realignment, such as with me, like I said, I was dealing some, with something that is very agitating and sensitive to my ego, being it relationships and humiliation and jealousy, all that stuff. But I have to remember, nothing I see means anything. 